today I am going to share with you the list of top 5 high graphic games with very low system requirements and you can easily enjoy them with 2 or 4 GB RAM and without any dedicated graphic card as well. Also the list is made of all those games that I have played myself on a 2 GB RAM PC with Intel HD graphics, uh, Intel Pentium 2.54 GHz processor that is dual core and no dedicated graphic card. I haven't included games like GTA, Assassin's Creed, COD etc because they are already well known to everyone. Therefore, this list contains some games about which most of you might not have heard of. Now let's get the video started. But before that, comment down below what would you prefer, a PC or a console and why. Okay, so the first one is Outlast. I don't know about you, but I personally like horror games with a first person or third person and Outlast is one of the finest horror games that I have played. In this game, you are basically a news reporter and you receive an email from Mount Massive Asylum that there is something fishy. So you go there to investigate. You just have a camcorder and a diary. You don't have anything to defend yourself. You can only run or hide. As you progress, you will get to know what happened there and also to the people who came there. The game is full of jump scares and very terrific chases. It has some crazy people that will follow you around the game, some monstrous creatures and a ghost named Wall Rider. If you are a horror game lover, it's a must try and even if not, you won't be disappointed. A famous explorer once said, what we Next up we have is Tomb Raider, the 2013 version. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead... It is a third person semi open world game and you are the main character, Lara Croft. Lara Croft and her friends are in a ship which gets wrecked due to a storm and she is separated from them all. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. All of them are strangled on an island which they can't leave due to some mystical power which prevents them from leaving. You have to save all your friends. The game is full of action and adventure which you will definitely like. You will have to fight a bunch of different enemies, humans and non-humans, with a variety of weapons. Once you complete the game, you can go back to the places you have been and do some side stuff or raid tombs. Riley. 
keep forgetting his pilot's license. Where the pilot? hell is that motherfucker? It's in my father's black car. Next up, we have Far Cry 3. Jason and his friends are on an island having fun attending parties. But things change when all of them are captured by man, Bus. Jason is successful in running out of Vasa's camp and meets some new people who help him progress in his journey and to kill Vas and his boss Hoyt and also free his friends. Far Cry 3 is an open world game set up in a tropical island where you can kill bosses, thugs, help locals kill animals for loot and crafting and many other side stuff. The graphics are also amazing. So if you are a fan of open world games, it's a must try. Are you a fan of parkour games? And you like Assassin's Creed because of its parkour? If yes, then Mirror's Edge is a treat for you. It's a first person game completely focused on parkour. You will do jumps, rolls, wall running and a bit of combat, optional in most of the cases. The game is set up in the future world and story revolves around your character Faith who is a runner and her sister who is a cop. If parkour is what you seek in a game, Mirror's Edge is for you. Fifth one is Sniper Ghost Warrior. I myself am not a really big fan of sniper games but this one is different. Sniping isn't necessary for some missions but definitely is a better option. You can choose to do stealth or go loud in most of the missions. Not only the sniper guy, you will also play as the guy with the AR for some part of the missions. Since it's a sniping based game, so sniping is the highlight and obviously not easy. But the bullet cam will make it awesome. Your choice between stealth and going loud will affect your way, becoming easier or difficult. Even if you aren't really a sniping fan, give it a shot. So, these were the top 5 games, high on graphics but low on hardware demand. The minimum RAM to play all these games is 2GB. Well, this was it. Tell me in the comments if you have already played any of these and if you have any suggestions for other games. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you never miss any upload because I haven't been uploading regularly for the last few months. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.